Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, this one's interesting for me. The best parts um, are... The best parts have nothing to do with the tunes. I think this... I think the best part of this movie is just seeing how, and even in the 80s, how it, lo how it looks so cool to see cartoons mesh with the real world. It, it, it comes off in a non-cheesy way, and I think that was very impressive. And the story is awfully complex for a kid's film. You know, I have my, I'd have myself, like, being like, wait, what? What's, what's going on type things? You know, from moment to moment. Now, I think its biggest negative is, is this film plays it safe. And again, it's a kid's film, and of course it's going to play it safe. But I think a little bit, for me, to its detriment, where this film's not bad, but it's nothing special. I think it, 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 its story is very fascinating, and I think, you know, having, you know, Robert, Roger Rabbit play Factor and all these characters play Factor, um, is very interesting, but I don't know that I could say that I could fully care, I guess, is probably what I'm trying to say, because I'm, like, watching it, I'm like, yeah, 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 but I, I just, I don't know, there's this sense of, like, Okay, but move on with the story. Move on with the plot. Is it takes you probably halfway through the film for the plot to actually start moving. Because Roger and the detective don't meet till an hour into the movie. This film is called Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And the person who's trying to solve that case doesn't meet with his client, Roger Rabbit, until halfway through the film. And plus, you don't even figure out what Ro Roger even did, or that he did anything, until, well, halfway through the movie. And that's what makes it very tricky, is because, like, the first quarter is just establishing this world, which is a fascinating world of kind of Toontown, and who runs it, and it's fascinating. But it doesn't have much relevance. But, I'm, I mean, obviously, you know, Jess Crab and all that stuff is, they're interesting characters, um, but I don't think it, you know, adds, you know, contributes much to the film, you know, path pathos or whatever. But I had fun with it. I had fun with it. Stay tuned for videos coming at you.